Hey everyone, it's Ashlina. Welcome back to my channel. This is part two of a three-part series reacting to Halsey and her album, If I Can't Have Love, I Want Power. Now, the reason I'm doing three parts and not a full album reaction is that my full album reactions keep getting blocked. Um, I tend to do my reactions without stopping a song and that instantly either gets copywritten or blocked so it's unmonetizable, which is totally fine. I just don't like the whole listen to 10 seconds, pause, talk about it. Listen to 10 seconds, pause, talk. About it. I just can't do it unless I like. And to be fair, I can do it because I did it in part one, but only once because I was so happy that she did something uh, melodically that I wanted her to do. And I got so excited. But anyways, we're starting this <laughs> this video off with girl is a gun you asked for this darling and 1121 or 1121 or november 21st who knows what that song's called um but part one has the tradition bells in santa fe easier than lying and lilith so go check that out and obviously watch this in order so if you're watching part two go watch part one first cool part ones always get the most views and then people just drop off but that's okay Oh, I also have to mention, this is a patron request. This is from Ariana, my patron. She's a new patron on my um, devotee tier, right? Devotee and then groupie. Yeah. And uh, she wanted me to do Halsey. I had this one queued up and ready to go. So that's what I chose. But obviously, if she messages me back and says, no, I want you to do this one, I'll do that one too. It's totally fine. <laughs> I want to do all the, all the Halsey albums anyway. So it's cool. Let's listen to Girl is a Gun. Feel lighter in the waistline with no hands around me, no spit in my teeth. No, I'm not your daydream. I won't have your baby stop cause you're killing my vibe. It's a shot in the dark. I'm not a walk in the park. I'm coming loaded with the safety switched off. This girl is a gun and we've been having some fun. And I can show you if you turn the lights on. I keep waiting for love to come swallow me up. I feel better. song is only like two and a half minutes long because god that was annoying listen the melody of her voice it's such a wonderful melody like it would be such a pretty song but the beat is so overwhelming it just takes away everything she's singing about and it's just awful that was so annoying i i really hope and you guys tell me there's a stripped back version of that song because that song is an absolute mess sorry trent reznor and atticus rose but <laughs> i swear to god if i wrote a song that was as nice as this and that techno vibe you put on my track i'd have been like bro no 
like let's just make this one a ballad that is a disaster you know if you like it cool congrats to you i just would not i would fucking lose my mind listening to that song it drove me nuts it's just it's too fucking wild for what she's singing it's a cool beat but it's just super annoying Ugh. So it says here that Girl is a Gun could be a reference to Tyler, the creator song, A Boy is a Gun. I don't listen to Tyler, the creator, so I would not know what that means. Um, going along with the general theme of the album, the horror of the singer's pregnancy, the song could be about them not feeling good enough to be a mother. They're too impulsive, explosive, too mean, too playful, too irresponsible. Halsey talked about the way society views women as unfit for motherhood if they're sexually desirable, and this song could be talking about those feelings. Furthermore, the line, so I'm giving you up and you'll be a better, and you'll be better with a nice girl, darling, could be about the child being better off with a better mother. Hmm. I don't know if I believe that, genius.com, but I don't know. I did not get that at all. I think this is more about a, like a man she's or whoever she's with, like a partner. It's like, my newest baby's testing me lately. A baby doesn't mean an actual baby. It could mean a partner. Making me crazy from morning to evening. I cannot take it. I love it. I break it. Need it. Leave it. If I believe it's a waste of my time. Time is a blessing to me. It's a lesson. And I can't be stressing to give you attention because it's never enough. So I'm giving you up and you'll be better with a nice girl. Just basically, you're this guy or whoever she's talking to, you're better off with a nicer person than I am. So peace like I don't think this is about her child at all sometimes genius.com is just so wrong (laughs) crazy okay let's listen to you asked for this is anyone else like super curious if any of these songs are about g easy I have so many bad words for that man sorry I never pause but I'm annoyed why are her lyrics in the verse so quiet and then overpowering in the chorus the levels are so weird it's driving me absolutely nuts maybe I don't want them to produce my album (laughs) this is so annoying Halsey's voice is so distinct and beautiful it needs to be leveled with the freaking music I don't care how loud the drums are or how loud the guitar is. Like, fucking level this properly. I'm listening to this. I'm, this audio is flack, you guys. It is the best computer audio I could get. It's flack. I'm listening to this on noise-canceling headphones, for God's sakes. I don't listen to shit-quality music. So, either this file is fucking corrupted, <laughs> something's wrong, but this is driving me nuts. Okay, let's just continue. Thanks. 
I dig the outro. I'm a sucker for a long outro, but yeah. Hmm. This is not a bad song. I'm just so... I just feel like there's a disconnect between the music and what she's singing. Like the beats and like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I love her lyricism, like first and foremost. I love this. You wished upon a falling star and then left behind the avant-garde for lemonade and crystal glasses, picket fences, file taxes. I feel like she like was wishing for something and then left behind all the fancy shit just to be kind of like a housewife in a sense. And she's saying like, is this the life that lies ahead now? Now that like she's a mom? Go and be a big girl. You asked for this. Like, this is what she asked for. In reality, she's basically just saying, I want everything. She wants everything. Even the things that she thinks she probably shouldn't have. She wants everything. And I like that. Halsey shared on Twitter in November, you asked for this as a conversation between the me who is becoming a mom, saying grow up, and the part that is so desperately wants to remain a child, wondering if we can coexist despite the massive change. Interesting. Okay, that's understandable. Like, you know, as a new mom myself, it's really hard to um, distinguish yourself from being a mom to who, like, the person you were before you were a mom. Like, I, I personally don't know if those two can coexist. Um, but then again, like, there's still time to figure it out. My daughter's only three, and I'm loving every second of it. So I, I'm, not, I'm not mad about it. I'm not sure how I feel about this song. Like, the lyrics are great. The melody of her singing was great. It's just, maybe I just don't like her in the rock genre. Although she does have songs where, like, I dig it. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. Okay, let's listen to Darling. Really can't remember where I left my spine Carrying my body in a bag for dimes Hidden in the pages of the New York Times at home Maybe I'll be better if I take my meds Ain't a doubleheader if you lose your head Try the medication that I bought instead It's working for a little but there's not much left Darling, don't you leave This is beautiful There's a place for me Somewhere we can see See a little girl I found this sweet Driving past a graveyard on a lonesome street All the little flowers gave me something to believe in This doesn't even hardly sound like Halsey Never knew the feeling of a stable home Been a couple years on living on the road Couldn't really tell you where they'd leave a stone To visit me when I am dead and gone Darling, don't you Oh, 
shown me how to love being alive. Okay, guys, that hit me like a ton of freaking bricks. <sighs> I feel the exact same way. I feel like when she says, but only you have shown me how to love being alive. I can't. Whew. I'll keep it simple and say this is a beautiful song. Um, and I have literally felt the exact same way, word for word. The last line just gets me like I lost it, but only you have shown me how to love being alive. Ah, Jesus Christ. Okay, we definitely need to move on because I'm going to lose it. Okay, this song's called 1121-1121, November 21st. I'm not sure, but let's get into it. Well, I won't die for love, but I've got a body here. My shoulders are heavy already And yeah, I know The parts of myself that I've hated And I can't tell which ones are mine And which I created On Genius.com, it says, Halsey explained in an Instagram live stream uh, that she found out she was pregnant on November 21st, 2020, or 1121. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, the day she found out she was pregnant, I was really sick, and I just thought I had COVID, but I was pregnant. Oh, that's amazing. So they, this is basically about her pregnancy? I love the chorus, though, if it is. Like, I won't die for love, but ever since I met you, you could have my heart, and I would break it for you. I wonder if this is about, like, her husband or boyfriend. I'm not sure if she's married or um, her actual child. But, yeah, I really like that one. I really liked it, yeah. Okay, guys, that's the end of this video. Um, if you want to continue on this journey of this album with me, go to part three. It's the final part. I do five songs in that one. And um, if you're watching this before you've been watching part one, go check out part one as well. Let's talk about my vinyl of the day. It is this beautiful gem over here that I just got in the mail yesterday. It is Sleep Tokens Sundowning. I do have a full album reaction to it if you're interested, but it is on Patreon. But it is free if you want to sign up to watch it. It just got blocked on YouTube, so I just put it there for free. I almost screamed 
when I got these in the mail because I did order them, but I'm like, there's no way. These are so hard to get. And I'm saying they are so hard to get because I also um, ordered This Place Will Become Your Tomb. I would have to remember to keep this vinyl away because the white just sucks out all the color of the rest of my video. But yeah, uh, when I got them in the mail, I was like, oh my God, I own two sleep token vinyls. And literally you can't find them anywhere. That one is the pink and blue marble I believe it's pink with blue marble and then the this place will become your tomb is the gold vinyl I have both of those vinyls on my YouTube shorts if you want to check out me opening them and yeah I'm just I'm I'm, I'm privileged and honored to own these two vinyls and I'm gonna kill I'm gonna kill to get take me back to Eden on vinyl I'm gonna kill I swear to god if I go to their show in May I think it's in May and they don't have vinyls, I might lose my mind. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching this. I'll see you in part three. I hope you have an awesome day.